So, Sylvia, thematically, should people be investing in this market? Is it still constructive in your mind? Good morning, Dom. Uh, great to see you today. Yeah, you know, I think that actually it's a great time to get into the market and start thinking about thematic investing. A lot of the, the thematic products out there, whether they're ETFs or single stock names, have just been beat up because growth got hit, you know, sort of worse than anything, um, given, given the issues with inflation and Fed hikes and things like that. Those names tend to suffer the worst. But I do think that what we've seen lately, and, and it's really come out of tech earnings, is that there's been this resilience in some of these companies that are higher quality that have strong balance sheets, you know, the, the operating margins have essentially proven that they can absorb inflation. And when I, you know, talk about sort of these names and these themes, you know, a lot of them are actually big tech names and, and big um, semiconductor names like AMD, NVIDIA, for example, that are part of the themes or the trends of the future, like 5G, quantum computing, you know, edge computing, cloud and things like that. So these names are on sale and it's a great time to sort of start scooping them up for long term investors. So what, what exactly then is on that shopping list for you? I mean, specifically, I mean, you mentioned some of those large cap, mega cap technology names. We've seen communication services stocks like media companies and social media companies really taken on the chin over the last couple of weeks, given the outlook for online advertising and whatnot. We just saw NVIDIA's pre-warning yesterday that kind of drove a lot of the tech sector down. Could there possibly be more downside to come for technology? Is now the time to want to get in? Yeah, so I think it depends on your outlook. In the short term, I, I would agree that perhaps it's a little bit risky to get in if you're looking for short-term returns. But for long-term traders, I'm looking at the tech generals, so the Microsofts, the Amazons, Apple, Googles of the world. You know, they're invested in cloud computing. They're invested in data centers, um, subscriptions. They have e-commerce. They have ads. They have all of these sorts of things that will participate once the economy starts to recover and we kind of get past these rate hikes. Uh, and again, earnings have proved resiliency there. They have strong operating margins, strong balance sheets, and they can sort of survive this. So for the long term, they've been on sale. The multiples have been brought down. And I'm really continuing to scoop those up. I've been doing it all along, dollar cost averaging in. And you mentioned NVIDIA. So yes, NVIDIA had, you know, arguably a, a terrible sort of outlook on things like gaming. But if you think about the future and you think about deflationary tech and how we're going to have to automate factories, you know, build electric vehicles, the bills from Washington that will support this, chips are going to play a big role in that. And it'll take a while for that to play out. So when I see NVIDIA falling 8%, you know, could it fall more? It certainly can. And, and it could. But I can't really time that. I do think that I plan to hold this stock for three to five years. And I think I would like to participate in that 5G trend and all of these automation trends that will come with chips. So I'm comfortable buying them here and holding them. Um, again, short term, I do think that you can get some risk if you're looking for a play out and, and you might not have that trade play out for you. But long term, they are good, solid names. I mean, NVIDIA has 20 billion of cash on the balance sheet. That's a strong, strong company. And where would you, before we let you go, what's your least favorite part of the market right now? Uh, well, my least favorite part of the market would be kind of the, the, the hyper growth, the, the work from home types of trades that I do think are, are sort of over. So, you know, I, I'm not looking for Peloton names, for example. I'm not necessarily looking to jump into some of the subscriber, um, you know, media types of, of, of companies out there like the Netflix and, um, you know, so, sort of the names along those lines. I do think that those are going to take a while before they sort of play out. So I'm staying away from those names.